Well, I know a lot of people like to get their Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. It's kind of a tradition, although I'm one for getting it back by Thanksgiving. <laughs> but if you are getting Christmas tree on Christmas Eve, it might get a little wet, huh, Kristen? It, it definitely uh, might be. You definitely want to go a little earlier rather than later because the later in the evening you wait, the better chance you'll get a little more wet as you uh, go about your activity, especially if you're, you're going out to chop down a tree or go to the tree lot. Uh, right now we're looking at a pretty quiet end to the evening. It's still chilly out out there, but the temperature has been holding steady. Beautiful view from Mount Washington. As we look at the conditions, it's mostly cloudy in Pittsburgh. We've been at 34 degrees for the past four hours, and then we'll watch that temperature slowly start to rise overnight tonight. Winds are out of the south southeast at eight miles per hour now, and look at the numbers. We're still in the upper 20s to the north. In fact, Franklin has dropped a degree down to 28. Dubois is at a chilly 29. Catanning 31. By contrast, Beaver Falls is at 36 along with Wheeling. Look at this. Morgantown is already at 41. Cambridge, Ohio at 40. A little bit of that warmer air is going to start to creep in here overnight tonight. So travel forecast quiet everywhere east of the Mississippi except for a few snow showers up into New England. And then as we head toward tomorrow, really the West Coast is the only place that's going to have significant rain and snow chances in the uh, Lake Tahoe area. Sierra Nevada area. We're looking at just a couple of little flurries around our area up to the north along the Lake Erie shoreline. That disturbance is passing off to the east. The rest of tonight, we do have another second disturbance that's going to swing through here. We could have a, a chance of a sprinkle overnight, maybe a flurry or two mixing in along or north of I-80. That's about it for tonight and most of the daytime tomorrow. Now tomorrow evening is a different story. Here's Futurecast. Here's that chance of a shower or a sprinkle after 9, 10 o'clock. Then tomorrow, for whatever you're up to on Christmas Eve day, get out early because we're looking at dry conditions most of the day. It'll be overcast. The temperature is going to start to climb all the way up to 50 by lunchtime. Now tomorrow evening, here comes the wet weather. Starting at around 5 o'clock, we could see a couple of showers. If you're headed out to uh, family or dinner, or if you're headed out to early church service, tomorrow evening, 7, 8 o'clock. I'd take the umbrella with you because you may have a few showers to end. Then later on, here's 11 o'clock. If you're headed to late evening church services, a late evening gathering or midnight mass, you definitely want the umbrella because the heavier rain is going to arrive after midnight. Look at 6 a.m. It will be wet when we wake up Christmas morning. It won't be the white stuff. It's going to be rain. Temperatures in the upper 50s by later Christmas Day. Look at this. By the time we get to lunchtime, the heaviest rain will start to pull off to the east. We cool down as we head towards Sunday, and we have skies that will be clearing. How much rain? This is just one computer model, but some of these models are pointing to a half an inch of rain north of Pittsburgh and up to an inch of rain by the time we get to Saturday night along I-70 and south. So tonight, 37, mostly cloudy, a chance of a shower or a flurry, especially north or east of Pittsburgh. Tomorrow's high, 52, rain late tomorrow night for Christmas Eve, and then early Christmas Day, some fairly steady rain. We're all the way up to 59, 46, partly cloudy Sunday, and then lower to mid-50s with a few showers here and there, rain showers Monday through Thursday.